Hello everybody. I'm gonna talk about uh, bot API, Telegram bot API in Laravel and how to make it from scratch and do something with uh, Telegram handy API. I just had a repository here with a Persian language course about how to make a guess emoji game Telegram bot. Uh, you could do read the codes uh, and today that is in pure PHP with a hand handmade structure um, but now I want to show you how to use the telegram bot API in the Laravel um, so I just lost a previous video uh, and I'm recording it again so let's dive into it uh, I have um, let's just do from the, uh, the telegram bot api documents uh, there is a method calling there is a section calling making request uh, everything here is http uh, rest api and this is a very handy and simple uh, API and document and I love the document of the telegram uh, you could send get request or post request to something like this URL and uh, I will use this so uh, I have just some of this here uh, this is my bot token uh, you just need a api telegram.org slash bot your token and method here the method list are uh, listed in available available methods and for sending message um, we want to test the send message in our browser and send the message to my bot uh, something like this let's clear history uh, so uh, for doing that uh, let's dive here okay I have my URL api telegram.org slash bot my bot token and send message I have copied from here send message um, let's clearly send message and question mark uh, there is two required parameter that one of them is chat ID and text other is our optional uh, the chat id is your chat id who you want to talk with uh, and who you want to message to them uh, there are several bots to uh, give you chat id of a person or username or something else uh, the id bot is here and uh, i'm using this it's a little bit slow but it's work you just need to send the username and it will give you the chat ID uh, for the chat ID I will type chat underline ID equal to my ID and percent and text equal to the text you want to make uh, so just you see here there is this is the result and if you check your bot the hello from YouTube is here um, so we can make how mentioned in the API in documentation uh, they are support get and post request and now we made a get request to send a message for us uh, another helpful method is about section of getting updates uh, when I'm typing some messages here uh, test message I just want to have this message on my bot and handle it in my codes uh, this is simple uh, this update is the um, object uh, object of update that we will see uh, this is the object of the message sent and uh, we'll get one of these when we get update and for that there is a get updates method uh, 
uh, that I'm gonna use like this instead of using send message I'll use get updates and it will gives me the all of my chats updates uh, that was previous uh, chats and the test message is here you see so the each time we will uh, refresh this page it will gives us uh, duplicate messages and uh, we don't want to process a duplicate message each time one message each time and we just need newer messages so there is an offset parameter uh, that we could use like this offset equal to there is an update ID you see uh, this is 97 and this is 98 on the last I will use the last one and make plus one on it and 99 there we go so you see the update just has been refreshed so make some new messages and new messages new message are here uh, this is the object in this zero one this is the object of update that you could get a full document here uh, or you just could um, QA with other methods and see what they will give you I will love this action to QA something okay uh, to make this happen on Laravel uh, first things we need uh, a Laravel project here so uh, and uh, for a start I want to get my um, client uh, messages and send them thank you and response them with a message so uh, for this action I just need a command uh, to tell telegram update you see each time I should to refresh this page and get uh, newer updates there is uh, another option that is set webhook on the set webhook uh, we need a web server and domain name the public domain name on the internet and the valid certificate and on my matching there is no domain name public domain name and valid HTTP certificate so I will use just get update for tests and on production and when I deploy my bots uh, I will use set webhook in my server and hope maybe in future I will uh, to tell you how to do this this is simple just call URL and um, attach your response that you would like to get the updates okay here I will make I will using sale if you don't know what is sale sale is a docker on uh, it is a docker setup for Laravel and it's built in and there is uh, good options here uh, so I will make sale artisan uh, make a command I just have here uh, the command is telegram update handle command uh, with a tg update command so uh, when I tell sale artisan tg update uh, here is the command and if I made a dd here hello it will gives me hello and the newer version of uh, Laravel has a handy feature that told tell you where the DD has been called uh, so let's implement here first uh, I just need to call the updates API uh, for this uh, I will use I will make a service uh, in app folder I will make services folder and in the services folder I will make it telegram tele, telegram service dot php uh, php namespace uh, app 
like a slash services class telegram service okay uh, there I need the token the private dollar token um, and a function to um, the constructor to uh, dollar to S3 no um, there's nothing that we need uh, first I will put my token in ENV something like this telegram bot token and my bot API token that you could get from the bot father I have several bots here uh, and you could get the token and copy here as a telegram bot API token in your environment variables so I will tell this the token is equal to uh, env let's see this is larval okay env telegram bot token so uh, I need a function to get updates uh, there is no parameter uh, to do this I need a function that is a pro protected if this is protected token should to be protected also okay uh, the execute function uh, uh, that's dollar the, the method and parameters here uh, the URL but I don't want to use curl like this uh, we need a URL here Please leave me alone, copilot. Uh, we need to make a URL, uh, something like this, but not using like this. Dollar uh, URL equal to sprintf. Sprintf is better. Um, just leave me alone. Okay. And slash uh, here dollar s dollar s what is dollars uh, and here also another string okay there is token and the method okay this is better and uh, to get the results I will use the res the request equal to HTTP uh, fast facet from the larval that is post uh, make a post request to URL with the parameters that we have that we need and uh, on the results just return request JSON uh, and let's see what we have here okay here mm, there this execute get updates I just need offset here, offset equal to zero for now and I will comment it. Uh, I have to store the offset somewhere and uh, use it again. Uh, Int dollar offset here, okay, it is better. Uh, response results for what? response is better okay uh, okay let's do let's test this uh, telegram service equal to app telegram service class and I just want to get updates zero and dd dollar updates that will show what we have here. Okay, the my uh, structure and I just want the result here. So I will get the results and there is nothing. Give me empty array. This is better. 
okay so now I have an arrays let's make another message um, now we have an array of messages uh, update object and I want to process the process this uh, to process this I need just a new uh, let's not make a service here uh, just for each on updates as the as the updates so we now telegram service that send message here uh, yes uh, you see there is message chat ID here about for chat ID uh, let's make the send message function here uh, function send message uh, is dollar chat string dollar chat id chat chat id and uh, a string dollar text for now uh, we don't need results and the response execute send message this is everything is okay so this is send message and we will say uh, thank you for your message uh, okay let's see how it's work and you see I have two messages here and each time I will execute my the TG updates I will get message uh, for this I will send a message to response of the messages uh, so let's fix the update issue that will process the repeat messages uh, for this uh, we have to uh, we have a two option first things is uh, make uh, save the chat save the updates update ID you see update IDs here uh, so the update ID is equal to this uh, the update update ID uh, we could make uh, store this or we can make another uh, mm, request here and with a dollar update ID equal to zero call to zero and here dollar update ID and also here dollar update ID okay I will get the last message update ID and I will make a plus one here and this message that have been processed we will call another one but this is a repeat you know it will take our resources to make another request to telegram but I think this is better to store this update ID uh, because some issues may be happened in futures um, my English speaking skill is not very very good to uh, talk about the things and the problems but I will try to um, explain the problems in future uh, okay this should be work for now uh, we have two message and we will get to another messages so TG updates uh, okay I have two another messages but when I update I will not. okay there is some problem here for now um, could you do not send the message just dd dollar update id oh 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 i reminded okay in here i made the offset dollar offset okay complete the function first okay so i will get two message 
spot for now no message yet no message no message okay uh, hello and thank you for message okay uh, we could make and make it better things that the text equal to a sprint f uh, thank you for your uh, mm? message okay it is good and uh, the, uh, you see the update message text is here so you can uh, see the update object or telegram here uh, in message we have a message object and the message has a text a string uh, if the uh, given message was a text the text will be a field here so message dollar update message text is here and after this we should to write text here uh, hmm. there's no message uh, I like your code I like my code yes uh, okay this is awesome for now uh, in future videos uh, I want to make what am I doing here in future videos I want to make uh, this source to the I want to make a uh, road system for telegram messages uh, that's when uh, we told Masalan something like why am I talking Persian here uh, something like when we say uh, um, send message to all uh, and say uh, I like your username uh, this should be able to send uh, to all people who uh, started the bots uh, and send this message to all of them uh, I mean I want to make some super user commands uh, some uh, like gets menu command that all users could uh, use this or uh, something like that answer some uh, special uh, text um, and I think we should to start a project game another game project with Laravel and uh, Telegram this is good idea okay I will start it uh, in this um, repository I will push it on my github uh, so let's make a github repository new repository repository name uh, I will make castle telegram uh, castle telegram game uh, this is Educational purpose uh, repository based on YouTube course course to teach a Laravel and a Telegram together. Also make something. Cool. Okay, <laughs> this is a repository that I will copy SSH here. I will command here um, feed um, basic telegram. I will using lazy git. Prefer to use this. It's amazing about remotes. I will make a new remotes. Oh no new remotes called origin 
the URL is here so push the master in origin and uh, the codes are here make a readme upload this video make description of the video and other things uh, hope to see you in next video and uh, wish me better uh, English speaking I'm practicing the English speaking speak English and make this course to manage some purpose and goals okay so goodbye and hope to see you again